start to get a little lightheaded, almost dizzy at times. Depression, anxiety, nightmares is the big one. You feel weird, but you don't know why you feel weird. Your heart's racing so bad that you can't get back to sleep for hours. I even ended up going to the hospital one time because I was worried I was having a heart attack. It could sometimes be mentally triggering or emotionally triggering. The nightmares come and go, usually have two or three a week. If I do survive, am I gonna be able to be a firefighter? I was angry all the time. I didn't even want to be around myself. It's almost like it's a dreary day, day in and day out. And it seems like sometimes we're fighting a losing battle. After going to those, those really terrible calls, you know, on your way home, you're just hoping that you can just forget about it. You can try to go to sleep. It doesn't come back to haunt you in the night. You're just trying to uh, oppress that memory as best as you can uh, to, to keep it from coming back. Being a firefighter, we're expected to come in uh, and solve all the problems. And sometimes, uh, just by the nature of the, the call, the accident, uh, the fire, we, we aren't able to solve uh, the problem immediately. It's heartbreaking to see the family sometimes uh, when they're pleading with you to uh, save their family member and, and it's, you just can't. Over the years, you kind of tend to get almost desensitized to it and, you know, start turning into dark humor to kind of alleviate the situation and kind of ignoring your own mental health. I discovered that I had PTSD four years after the call that gave me PTSD uh, when I had a panic attack at work. Um, it wasn't something that we talked about um, after the call that gave me PTSD. Um, another paramedic said to me, well, if you can't handle it, maybe you shouldn't do the job. You know, you just kind of shove the feelings. Um, but when you shove feelings, they find their way back out. There's a lot of tools that police officers use every day, but the one tool that was really missing is tools that help us with our mental health. PSPNet is a great resource because it's accessible 24 hours a day. We don't work nine to five jobs, and sometimes we want to work and get help at two or three in the morning. With it being internet cognitive behavioral therapy, we have the ability to go online and deal with these issues at two in the morning, uh, at noon, anytime during the day. As a psychologist working with PSPNet, I get to witness firsthand the benefits and value of online therapy. We have tailored our program to meet the unique needs of public safety personnel and first responders. This information was based on detailed interviews with over 125 public safety personnel in Saskatchewan and Quebec. Since launching in 2020, over 200 public safety personnel have accessed our services. Approximately 62% of our pre-screened applicants report clinically significant symptoms in two or more of the symptom areas, such as depression, anxiety, panic, or PTSD. Once a participant has completed our online screening process and we determine that online therapy is the most appropriate support for them, they are enrolled in one of our two courses. These courses are typically eight weeks long and are offered with optional weekly therapist support for up to 16 weeks. The courses include five main lessons, which are presented in an engaging manner and include tools and strategies intended to help them manage their symptoms in a healthier way. Clients who have completed the course have provided great feedback on the program. Public safety personnel have shared that they found the content relatable and were really pleased the courses were flexible so they could work through the lesson material at their own pace. It is so encouraging to see public safety personnel reaching out to us and finally getting the support they need and deserve for their mental health and well-being. I think we are now just beginning to see how impactful this innovative mental health platform can be for improving access to support services. But more importantly, public safety personnel are always there to help us when we need them. And I am just so happy that we're finally able to return the favor through the programs we offer at PSPNet. 
It's really nice to see that this issue uh, is getting the attention that it needs because there are first responders out there that are suffering in silence. It feels like people care and for first responders that's genuinely comforting. It was actually very inspiring to see firsthand all the research and the resources put into this project. It really gives me peace of mind knowing that I can talk to somebody about how I'm feeling and that everything I say will stay confidential. It feels good knowing I'm not alone.